And so E3 now officially underway. Thousands of people here, video games fans, video games journalists, video games reps, influencers, the lot of them all here desperate to get their hands on with the games, the gadgets that are really going to drive the industry over the next 12 months. A little earlier, I spoke to one of the men who runs this event and I began by asking him how E3 stays relevant in an industry that is changing massively every year. This year's E3 is going to be different than last year, which was different than the one before that. And we're seeing new companies. There are about 85 new companies that have never uh, exhibited at E3 before. We're glad to have them. We're also looking at new side activations, like eSports, for example. There are a remarkable amount of eSports competitions at the show to match the energy and excitement uh, that the public has for that particular sector of the industry. Uh, we're also seeing a growth in the number of online influencers, Twitch streamers, YouTube celebrities. Um, people with massive Twitter followings and we bring them into the event as well so that they can learn and see and test drive uh, video games and products that have never before been seen in the world. By the time E3 opens though most of the announcements have either been leaked or they've been made. People know what's here. Sure. What's the point in coming? It is actually being able to get that hands-on time with the games and with the products themselves. And so we've got 410,000 square feet of exhibit space that is completely filled with new products, new video games, new hardware, new peripheral devices, and the ability to actually get in there and test drive that yourself before anybody else can do it is a fantastic opportunity. So last year you opened the floor to the general public for mm -hmm. the first time. Sure. You've had a year to reflect on that. Was it the right decision? It absolutely was. The energy that they provide, that they gave to the show, the excitement, the direct feedback that they give to the exhibitors, that's something that the exhibitors want to hear because you're actually able to get instantaneous uh, responses to a title or a product and it, it works so well and the response was so positive that we're bringing 15,000 consumers back to the event this year uh, and we're excited to have them be a part of our event. Dan Hewitt there from the Entertainment Software Association, the body which runs E3, an event which appears to be growing every single year. E3 runs Tuesday through Thursday here in Los Angeles.